hello everyone and welcome back to banished tutorial town i wanted to show you uh right here from the start a trading post uh if you've been watching the series all along you've you've seen that uh we have two trading posts one is this uh here along the beach that is for everything it, it's a general trading post and then a little bit of the way here we have one that is just for seed and stock this one in particular this trip the for the cows we're going to dismiss you may recall at the end of the last episode we got goats that give us milk and we got some sheep to give us wool so we're not going to be needing the longhorn cows right now but this one the seed merchant brought us watermelon seeds and that we could use so what i need to figure out is what we might have in excess here so nearby we've got some glass we've got some clay some iron over 300 iron uh, so something like that could be useful to to offer up in trade. In fact, I think I'm going to see if we can get close to being able to purchase this. All right, so oh, I accidentally said iron ore. I don't want to move iron ore. I want to move actual refined iron. Um, because it's worth eight so we're gonna see how close we can get here with the things that we have available now for you banished veterans here watching you might say well why don't you just click on your town hall and that will tell you exactly how much of everything you have well uh, we don't have a town hall yet we're we're still at an early enough stage that we don't we don't have that so, <clears throat> as per usual, I'm going to keep marking these things to gather that are nearby enough for our people to just come right down here and gather them, especially the food. Okay, so let's check this out. Let's see. Uh, I'm not going to try to do mental math while I'm recording, so I'll just go ahead and punch these in, see how close we get. All right, that's 2,300. We just need 200 more of something. We could do clay, but I think that's only worth one, and that would really throw off our surplus we have built up there. Uh, I think leather's worth four, so now that we've got a little more of that, we could do we could do leather. We've got herbs, but 48 herbs isn't too impressive, to be honest. What are you saying? You're full of food. Oh, sweet. Things are full of the food. Okay, I what I like to do, I just go ahead and add a one, change that from five thousand to fifteen thousand. Some people might uh, disagree with that call, but that's what I like to do. I think just to get this. Oh my goodness, and our materials are filling up. Let's go ahead and bump that to five thousand. We don't ever want to stop gathering materials. All right, so we're gonna go to the inventory. And we are going to say another, you know what, let's do this. Let's do 25 herbs and 25 leather. That should do it because, oh, leather's 10. Okay. Well, then we aren't going to need the herbs, and it wasn't going to give us credit for those anyways. All right, sorry about that. Um, we will have them bring us 20 leather. And that should be good for watermelons. Uh, as you might imagine, I'm not a huge fan of of doing a ton of trades like this. What I like to do is get my food up higher. It, right now, it's it could be better, um, but I like to get my food higher to a nice surplus of food, and then uh, with the resource merchant, not the seed merchant, but the resource merchant will show up 
and they'll say they'll say we'll trade you for anything and they will take food and when that happens uh, that's that's the best because you know if you're trading 2500 rice or something like that or flour once we get a mill going things like that you'll have an abundance at some point in the game so it's much easier to to trade for that so I bump this back down to one and then I have to go remember to come back here in the inventory and get rid of these things so that it doesn't pull resources that we actually need I don't care if it puts flowers in there and really I don't care if it puts uh, copper in there but we need to get this person making uh, actually I'm just gonna go with these two leather hide coats for now because we're down to four and I know we well we had leather until I traded it away uh, we still have 17 leather oh we have leather, leather and cloth let's do that I apologize I didn't mean to be quite so scattered here just getting us started but I wanted to show you uh, how to make that that good trade now I don't know that I want to do fields since it's summer but right now we have kale and we just bought our watermelon seeds so what I might do uh, is I've decided off screen I spent a little bit of time mapping out what I want to do I'm going to talk about these mines here in a little bit but I also wanted to show you because uh, I put in these two pastures so we've got Frisian cows they make milk right they're milk cows I, I've never heard them called Frisian. To me, they look like Holstein cows, but maybe that's a, a regional thing. And then we got two sheep, so they produce wool. They don't produce flowers. That, that's because there was a laborer that was gathering flowers that then started working here. So we're going to start getting a steady stream of wool, which means in a little while, I would love to switch this over to these two wool and whatever, or two leather, two wool, these warm coats. Those will be more durable and better overall. But we have some time before we need to mess around with that. All right, so our fuel is great. Our tools are great. Just got to get the tailor going. Uh, I was thinking about putting an extra blacksmith in here, but we're going to need another tailor at some point. So let me go ahead and show you... We made some bricks, so let's do this this tailor here. Go ahead and put this tailor on this corner. I'm not sure if I'm going to do these kind of buildings along here. Maybe, but then again, maybe not. And we want to fire up the, because I don't think we have any roof tiles. We're going to fire up the kiln and start making some roof tiles. We don't need a lot for just one building. But this is what I wanted to show you. I was all excited to tell you. Um, off screen, I managed to build a little bridge up here over this troubled water. Um, and when I built it, you can see here, it, it I want a bear. Uh, when I built it, the road was short of the bridge. So I put a little step from the dock set and I had to do the same on the other side, but now we're good. So what I was thinking is we'll make this a little uh, agricultural area. I think we can fit several fields in here, maybe put a barn up here. I think it'll be great. So, uh, you know, this isn't necessarily magic red ketchup mod stuff. This is pretty standard banished stuff. But I still think it would be cool to to have a nice little agricultural area, you know, between our pasture fields here. And actually, that's not a bad idea to put to put another field. Maybe not there. Maybe we could put a field here just because it'll be easier to get in that one will probably be in before this one because there's so much it has to clear and you know we're in autumn now hopefully they'll get this cleared off in time for us to put I'll probably switch this one I'll do it now since they're done 
I'll switch this one to watermelons and then that one can be another kale field maybe I'll put another watermelon field in there something like that Oop, we got another trader already this is crazy okay so here's chickens um, and the thing that's good about chickens is that they're much more affordable than some of the other things so I, we don't really need more livestock but eggs are good eggs allow us to make some other things um, and chickens reproduce like crazy so let's do yeah how about let's trade them a bucket of pearls for two chickens I'm actually totally okay with that and we can make it a little bit bigger maybe like how big will that let us go oh boy that'd be a lot of chickens might not be a terrible idea or I could leave a space between them let's, do that. let's go this way yeah let's do that so we'll put the chickens up there. Okay, cows reproduced one, sheep reproduced one. This is going to turn into our next kale field. What? How are you done already? You used up the cloth. Okay, let's do wool. Two leather, two wool. Can we do that? We've also got some furs here we could use up. Maybe let's do that first. Let's use up the fur. All right, this just it just goes so fast. I haven't even talked about this tech tree yet. Uh, let's go ahead and get two people working in here. We're gonna have them. I'll tell you what we're gonna have them do. We're going to have them. Whatever. Okay, flax. Flax to linen. We don't need anybody working the kiln now because we've got that built. All right, so sorry for the mumbling. Let's, uh, I'll try to be clear here with what I'm accomplishing so that you have an idea what I'm doing here. I'm just collecting more flax. Can never go wrong collecting more materials. We've got 6,000 food. Okay, so. Uh, I showed you last time we've got iron and copper okay great I've got stone coal salt great and then this one was the magic you know what do you got for me random quarry and the secret you have to click here to see and now we can look at these last two years it got a stone iron or salt coal okay that's pretty st straightforward but then it got us a gem what on earth then it got us three gems here and four gold and two silver what a crazy quarry. So how do we figure out what the heck the gem is? Well, that's where the red ketchup tech tree is a little bit more unique. There's the gem cutter. So if you read this blurb, I don't know how big it'll be on your screen, but this blurb explains how it's going to pull out these gems and then it'll be up to you to take these valuable gems you could take them straight to the trader or you can turn them into jewelry but look at this building look at this building isn't that so cool so since we've got this little industrial area going anyways I think we should put in the gem cutter and the jewelry maker and an armory okay that's what I'm gonna do down here uh, there's a, a few different ways we could do this I think we'll bring a road down between here so we're gonna do the gem cutter first and the jewelry maker they work they work quite hand in hand so we'll put them by each other we will bring this road down here Oops. And we'll bring this road across here and then because we have this foundry once we're okay like right now our iron is great we don't need to worry about iron so we're going to
going to switch this over to steel tools because we should have some coal in stock. We're going to switch this over to making one leather, one linen. And we are going to switch this over to converting the gold. Actually, let's keep this on charcoal because I'm not sure how much coal we have. I know we've been mining some coal. Old King coal. Okay. There's a lot happening now, right? This is what I love about this game, though. There's so much to do. All right, and so we can continue to expand this agricultural area. We don't need it right now. This farmer can bring their stuff down to this barn. Uh, everything should be should be fine. Now, the the next thing I, that I want to show you, because it's going to take them a little while to build these these buildings for this. Well, they're going up fast. Uh, the the next thing I wanted to put in here. Uh, so you've got this armor maker and you've got this weapon maker and they are connected to each other. So I think it would be pretty rad to put these in if we can fit them. Armor maker there perhaps. Or we could put the you know what, let's put them over here and we'll we'll wrap the houses around to this little area. We actually should be building houses too. It's been a little while since I Okay. I love the look of the weapon maker. We'll we'll zoom in on these once they're built as well. And then we'll leave one space between those two. Go ahead and give them a road here. I may even give them some storage across the street. And yes, I saw that trader come in. I'm just going to... Black house. And a blue house. And a... Wait, is that... Yeah. Dark greenish gray house? I'm not exactly sure what that is. Oh my word. Okay. So they're not going to have anything yet. Well, the gem cutter does. The gem cutter will have something. The... This person shouldn't. Which is why I didn't... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me explain real quick what I did there. Um, so these two in Red Ketchup's mod are the same labor force. I, I think they're considered workers. So when I clicked up to get another worker for the gem cutter, it automatically put that person in the jewelry maker. I don't know why, but it did that. So I went over here to the jewelry maker and told it, don't work. And I took the person out of there. And now that person's working in here. So they went over to the storage. They got a gem that was pulled out of this, this quarry. And now they're going to polish that gem and turn it into something that then we can use. Now you have to, you're gonna have to, you know, pause the video and zoom in here and look at all these. So once we find out what it is, we need a metal, like silver or gold, then we're gonna need whatever the gem is. And it won't just make one, it'll make a few. And they're very valuable. They're very valuable. So this is, uh, Red also added the that you can make necklaces with pearls, which is another cool idea. I like the pearls for trading, but when you make something like a necklace, it's worth a lot more. So I really like getting this kind of industry going. I think it's it's helpful and uh, frankly, it's a lot of fun. So we need to get our, our clothes and tool situation balanced again, but we don't need to do that right this very minute. Firewood's good. Logs are pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and make a little bit more lumber because we've been building houses. Uh, this, bear with me. I think what we'll do in the next episode is put some food processing buildings in here. And I'll explain each of those for you. But for now, I want to check out this trade. 
uh, food. I mean, we've got plenty of flowers. If I wanted to bring some variety into the diet, I could trade flowers for quince or pineapples. But in reality, we're fine on health. We've got plenty of herbs. Uh, I mean, it's not a lot of herbs, but we've got herbs and our people are already five star, five heart. <laughs> but just for fun, because we've got excess flowers, let's buy, let's buy the people some pineapples. They'll feel better. I'll feel better. Everybody wins. Uh, so, all right. Well, we started with the trader, and we will end with the trader. When we come back in the next episode, I will show you how to do the uh, set up the food processing buildings, and we'll start to stretch our food a bit further than it's going right now. Thanks for your time and attention. I look forward to talking to you in the next episode.